Elisa O'Keefe Smith here for the Diva Docs, and I have with me my wonderful friend, and he is a friend because I have interviewed him several times on the radio show, and that is Teron Brooks, actor and singer. Teron, how are you? How are you doing? I am really, really, really well. So, uh, what I want to say to you to start with is what a pleasure, privilege, what an honor it is to speak with you. Wow. Yes, just just such an honor. I'm We're so like-minded. <laughs> and we've never met, but <laughs> exactly. we got the same energy and thoughts about life. So. Exactly. It's an exactly. Honor, honor to meet you. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, talk about, first I want to touch base on what you've been doing with your own career okay. and then we're going to get into how you empower others because okay. I know you're a big uh, proponent for empowering so many. So let's first start with your career and your singing and your acting because uh, for those who don't know, Teron played in the wonderful Temptations movie, Eddie Kendricks. And uh, I know it is one of my favorite movies of all time and I know many people who hold it in their favorite movies as I'm sure you hear all the time. So with regard to that, yeah. um, what has been your feedback and what has that done for your career? Do people still recognize you from that? I mean, I think the movie is about 17 years old. Yes. And I get recognized almost every day. Wow. And uh, the the demographic is wide. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, not necessarily in Los Angeles. Right, right. But uh, other places that I go to. Right. Um, and it's overwhelming because I even forget mm -hmm. some about mm -hmm. it, but it's always on um, oh, wow. uh, certain stations and people watching Definitely. it the first time, people are watching it uh, over and over again. Definitely. And it's been profound for my life. I guess in one respect, I thought it would bring me maybe more success, right. it, 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 but just the appreciation yes. for my, my work and the work of the film right. has overwhelmed mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And um, people's hearts, they really were moved. And that's any artist wants exactly. to, not just you know want to be famous or, uh -huh. You, you want to move somebody exactly. and make them feel, especially for someone, because Eddie was a real person, yes, he was. that they can get a mm -hmm. glimpse of what was mm -hmm. going on at that time. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm completely overwhelmed and honored, and uh, it's part of history. Exactly, And it so is. I'm just like, wow, I got exactly. to play one of the icons of mm. all time, and mm. uh, it's, it's a continual blessing that keeps giving. You know? and, and I've heard um, many people talk about the Temptations movie that you were one of the main actors in, uh, and I've heard people say it is one of the best, if not the best, mm. of uh, movies about a certain time because many try to do it and yeah. they just don't get it. They are not able to portray the era. Yeah. They're not able to portray what happened, but I've heard uh, the Temptations movie is up there and Ray, of yeah, course, yeah. was another one that was up there. But um, we, we were committed. We had to be committed uh -huh. to not just fake it, to make it real. Right. From right. the dancing to the singing uh -huh. to the to the acting to the time period. And a lot of people that were involved, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Shelly, Shelly Berger right. is the Temptations manager. Wow. He was involved. Wow. And of course, Otis was involved. Right. And I met Smokey Robinson. Wow. So nice. the, the history, people who actually knew the Temptations uh -huh. and not just based on a book, you know, right. Right. people knew. And, it, it just had to be right. And did and you film it in Detroit? No, we filmed it in Pittsburgh. What? Yeah. Wow! Yeah. In Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. That, yeah. Wow. That that really surprises me because yeah. so much of the Temptations was out of Detroit, and uh, it was Motown, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And Detroit, Motor City, and they recreated it, the Hitsville and everything. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. that's. And it's funny. The first night that we were there. Uh, the the guys we were walking, we're trying to find getting something to eat, uh -huh, uh -huh. and we were walking down the street uh -huh. in Pittsburgh, uh -huh. and we got bottles thrown at us. What? And people were calling us names. Why? Yeah, I mean just racial. Just so it was interesting to get, getting ready to play the most famous group, and I mean wow. no one knew who we were, but so we had to change hotels. And this is only seventeen years ago. Oh no, yeah, it was mind blowing. I was like. Wow. wow, you know, wow, um, just kind of the the racial profiling in Pittsburgh. We didn't know. Wow, you know? and we will get into that a little later. But um, what I want to touch on is also your music. Yeah. Your music is, uh, I love it. Wow. I absolutely love it. I know 
that one of my favorites of yours is Down. Yeah. And yeah. I, I know I play that a lot. <laughs> and uh, your music is just phenomenal. I know you've had recent music out. How many albums have you had out and what is perhaps your favorite track that you've done? And oh what have you got my coming up? Goodness. Yeah, I have about five records, but I've been very secretive, I guess. Uh -huh. There's only one record right now that's on iTunes. Oh, really? And um, I, a lot of the older stuff just because whatever represents me now, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I want it to be shown on iTunes right, right now. Right. Um, and you're asking about my favorite song. I, God, I have many favorite songs. I guess really? one of my favorite songs is called Moment in Your Life. Oh yes, that, I know that one. And that's yes, on yes. my new record yes. it's called Contagious mm -hmm. Deluxe. Yes, yes I iTunes. like that one. And I just think I wrote a song saying that life is hard. Right. And uh, But it's just a moment in your life compared to your whole life. And I think mm -hmm. sometimes we fixate mm -hmm. on what's going wrong in our lives. And right. then that becomes so overwhelming, we cannot appreciate anything that's good in our lives. Exactly. And usually when you think about bad things happen, it, it, there's a period of time. Uh -huh. And then it maybe kind of goes away and then you have Definitely. a better part mm -hmm. of your life. So I wanted to write a song. Anything that I write is real. Right. What's really mm -hmm. going on, mm -hmm. what, what people are really, really feeling, people are hurting out there. Definitely. And Definitely. I always try to encourage them with my music. So. Y yes, definitely. You know, I um, had a friend of mine and I uh, think that she was following you. She might have even friended you. Her name was Stacey Rodriguez Lilly and she, um, when I started the Melba Delphia show, she backed me and supported me and actually did a segment with me called Real Talk. She was a singer too mm -hmm. and actually did a lot of work with Melky Jean, Wyclef's mm -hmm. sister and yeah. actually toured with Wyclef about a year and a half ago. She um, was one of my best friends and unfortunately she got glioblastoma, a, a brain tumor, and she passed away about two months ago. Um, one of the most heartbreaking things I've been through recently. Oh, wow. And she loved your music. Oh, I just, wow. I know it's that um, she would always, I'd say to Stacey, "What do you want me to play?" Often, and she'd always pick a Tehran oh, that's song. So, great. so um, I think music sometimes mm -hmm. is. Um, everybody mm -hmm. wants to be edgy. And right. everybody wants to be right. dark, and that's fine. Right, right. And my music is the opposite. It's exactly. all uplifting. It's all exactly. empowering. It's all inspirational. Exactly. exactly. And sometimes it's hard to find a place in, in music for that because that's not what everyone's looking for. But exactly. if you are looking for that, exactly. I, I'm glad that it does affect people. Like oh, that, uh, look, you know? your, your songs, I just, they're so beautifully done. I, wow. I, I just, I wow. really really they they make me feel definitely wow. and I know that they make a lot of my friends feel um, so getting to the social causes that mean a lot and you were just talking about the racial profiling when you were shooting the temptations yeah, yeah. in Pittsburgh what are your feelings about Black Lives Matter and the racial profiling that's going on uh, with the police. What are your feelings and how do you feel the uh, current energy is about this? I think uh, it's, I'll be honest, it's frightening. It is, it is. I have a son, uh -huh. he's eight uh -huh. years old, mm -hmm. and it's just frightening. It's, mm -hmm. it's no mm -hmm. one's trying to uh, be a martyr and say black people look at us and exactly. feel sorry for us or anything like uh -huh. that. But if you step in someone's shoes, and I think that's a mm -hmm. hard part for mm -hmm. some people to do. Everyone wants to be defensive. Right. But if you really have to step in someone's shoes, uh, and, and mm -hmm. be empathetic about right. how they feel and right. I think that's another problem mm -hmm. everyone wants to like just support their own views yes. without just listening mm -hmm. take a second to listen mm -hmm. no one's trying to attack or anything like that right. but nothing's going to change if we don't listen to each other and exactly I'm actually sitting here mm -hmm. you know I grew up in Orange County you wow. know what I mean mm -hmm. everything is pretty safe and yes but I when I, when I see a cop I freeze up yes when I think about my son just going mm -hmm. to school mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. just go say a prayer hopefully everything's going to be okay definitely you just never never know definitely and so i would love for the conversation to be a little bit more uh self-conscious and a little bit more defensive right. and more just open let's exactly. just listen and like hear what everybody wants to say i don't exactly. know what kind of changes we're going to we, the, the laws have to change exactly that, that there's nothing we can do without the laws in each state changing yes they do and they people, do need to change and people need to be held accountable and what's happening is people aren't being held accountable no. um 
you know, and there also needs to be people of, uh, discussion is the first thing that needs to happen because without discussion, people don't pay attention. Right. So um, discussion, discuss, discuss, talk about it, talk about it because the more people discuss, the more people become aware. Yeah. Um, I, I also think it's important for people who look like me mm. to discuss it yes, because yes, yes, yes. Um, you've got a lot, uh, and maybe it's easier for me to discuss because I, I married a black man, I have a biracial child, right. and so black lives do matter, matter to me. You, yeah. um, and mm. this is close to my heart. Yeah. Um, my, my friends, I live in uh, a inner suburb of Philadelphia, so it's very urban. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of friends of all nationalities, but yeah. um, I, it impacts me in my life. Yeah. And so when people see what they see is, you know, your tall blonde white girl, no, I am actually That's your life. a person yeah, yeah. of all colours yeah. and anyone who is unfairly treated, that impacts me. Yeah. So, and I try to discuss from my platforms, uh, I try to bring up discussion yeah. about issues that need to be talked about, yeah, yeah. issues that need awareness. Now, you are very empowering with regards to young artists yeah, too. Yeah, try to be. Yeah. You, you have I've some, learned so much, uh -huh. you know, and I think it's like, whatever we learn, you're supposed to teach, yes, you know? Yes. You help others go surpass what you've maybe Definitely. Uh, done. And Definitely. So, like a lot of my life, my greatest success is not necessarily what I've done mm -hmm, or where I've gone mm -hmm. or who I've met. It's the lives that I've touched or impact or the, the, the seeds that I've deposited in people. I love it. Um, love it. And, and in truth. Exactly. Right? Because exactly. people just want to know the truth. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't mean or aim to hurt anybody's feelings or anything right. like that, but there's a way to tell the truth in love. And the truth right. is so powerful. It, it can is. change the course of your life. It is. To, to, to reroute you to where you're supposed to go. It is. And young people are so impressionable. Yes. And if you don't tell them the truth, mm -hmm. then they're living in this big fantasy world. Exactly. And, and I've gone through so much to say, hey, this is what how it really right, is. Right, now you right. can make your own mm -hmm. decisions, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that I'm perfect, but exactly. this is what it really exactly. is. Mm -hmm. Just so you can have like it's armor. Truth is exactly. armor. You mm -hmm. can just be mm -hmm. a little bit more protected. Right. And so my greatest joy is I'm producing some young artists right now, oh, wow. and I just think it's incredible to to be able to just deposit into them truthfully wow. mm -hmm. uh, and see them grow. And I do that with anybody. I'm writing exactly. a book to encourage people. I'm oh, that's writing, awesome. You know, you could talk about branding. Yes. You could talk about branding to make a lot of money. Right. But you can also talk about branding just as, as something that represents who you are. Exactly. That, that multiplies. I'm exactly. a singer and I'm an actor and I can only put 10 songs on a record, but yes. I can write 50 songs. Exactly. And I can spread that and let other people sing those songs. Uh -huh. or, mm -hmm. So you get like a cycle of uh, positiveness around there. Exactly. Exactly. And um, when you talk about all of what you're doing, I resonated with that because when I get to the end of my life and what I'm trying to do with my platforms yeah. is I want to impact people to raise level of consciousness. I want to make people think. Sometimes I don't mind shocking people. I'm not afraid to shock yeah. them. I'm one of those people. But I want to make people think. I want to raise their level of consciousness. I want to challenge the status yeah. quo because the status quo needs to be changed. Completely, yes. And, and so when we address in public forums issues of social concern, issues that are controversial, mm. um, issues that people don't want to talk about, that raises people's consciousness. Yes, yeah. And uh, it at least gives them pause to think. To Whether think you change it. their... Whether I change their feelings about yes, things or not, yeah. I've given them pause to think. Yeah. What do they think about? And so, for me, my platforms that I'm creating and, and trying to change things with, uh, you know, this is what I enjoy doing. Yeah, and, yeah. And, I and it's authentic. Like it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm always trying to chase authentic. Yes. Who are you? Not yes. who you're trying to be, not yes. who you think you should be exactly. to be accepted. Exactly. The more and more you can be yourself mm -hmm. 
and you know I believe we're all created created differently exactly. uniquely with special talents and we try to cage that or shadow back exactly bring all those things out and that's when you'll find success you'll exactly. be drawn, people will be drawn to that and, and, and you know what I think um, you know I, I grew up in Australia and I uh, my parents were really my parents were really afraid of of what I wanted to be because they could see someone who was a little uh, outside the yeah, box yeah. <laughs> and I, my mother she was fairly young when she passed uh, but you know in coming to another country I was no longer beholden to what other people thought of me oh. I was free yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was free of uh, families uh, yeah. uh, obligations yeah. and even though I have a wonderful family that I visit in Australia I no longer had to conform to what everyone else wanted me to be. Yeah. I basically had free reign. And um, that was very freeing in a way, living in a country that I didn't know anyone. Yeah. Because I could uh, create myself, yeah. develop myself without judgment. Yeah. And well, America's supposed to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, yes. we claim, we say we are that. Yes. And so we're finding out, that's yes. the great thing about this conversation, mm -hmm. we're kind of finding out as Americans right. that we're not what we thought mm -hmm. we were, or yeah. we're not uh -huh. what we say we were. Right. And that could be scary mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. just more like thought raising. Hey, exactly. if we want to be who we're saying we exactly. are, mm -hmm. how do we change that? It's not exactly. too late. You no, know it's what I mean? not. It's but not. I mm -hmm. believe that's what's happening in America right now. Right. There is just like a ignorance is bliss. Right. We don't know, but mm -hmm. now everything is uncovered. We're seeing what's going exactly. on, and we have to make a decision as Americans, as people. Exactly. You know, uh, not just Americans, but as people. Exactly. Who are we? You Ex know? Who are we? And all this, yeah. all this um, racial tension that's building up again. Yeah. Um, it's saying something. Um, yeah. It needs to be addressed, yeah. and people need to talk about it. Yeah. And. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. We've got like these um, gi gigantic movies that are about to hit Huge, yeah. that will raise public awareness. Um, I I'm interested to see what's going to happen in the next few months. Yeah. You've got um, mega powers in the media now. Um, even the, the president, um, uh, you know, views have changed, but some views in some places have not. Yeah. So, um, you know, I was talking about it to someone who has lived a lot longer than me yeah. and said that it was i hadn't lived in the era when it was real they said you got it easy it's a lot better than it used to be back years ago I can imagine yeah. but you know i only know what i'm seeing and i see inequity yeah. i see unfairness and uh, you know i don't want my daughter to face that yeah and uh, you know, I want her to be even keel with everyone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to start out fairly. Yeah. Um, yourself, I, I know you've got you've got children. Yeah. And how do you feel about that? And what do you tell your children? Oh, they're, they're young, but I, I, mm -hmm. I, you know, I encourage them that they right. can be anything. That they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. That they're mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I don't want to shield them from the truth. Exactly. You know, and I don't want to make them afraid. Right. But I, I'm their dad. I have to say, mm -hmm. this is what's going on in the world. Right. This is not everybody subscribes to this, but some people do right. subscribe to this, son. And, exactly. You know, my dad used to do that. He was like, don't wear your hat backwards. Don't exactly. pull your pants up. <laughs> or wh whatever. I mean, and it could have saved my life. Isn't, yeah. that, isn't that interesting? Exactly. That something small like that could have saved my life. Right. I was driving my dad's wow. Jag. I was driving right. my dad's cars, and I would get pulled over by the police. I wow. Would, for no reason. Yes. I mean, Yes. Uh, I've been profiled many, many wow. times. Wow. Um, and so what I have to tell my son is that, you know, don't be afraid, but be aware. Be aware. Have your eyes open. Exactly. You know? And, exactly. Um, so uh, on their level, that's what we're all ta talking about with them. You know? Definitely. Definitely. So, you know, I know we're coming to the end of the interview. And I want to say what a pleasure to prove and a privilege again, what an honor it is to have you. I am so glad to meet you. And I, I wanna, ha if I've missed anything, please, you know, I'd love you to say. No, I don't think, I think what I, currently I'm gonna be working on a lot of new music. Yes. A lot of new music. And I'm yes. gonna be doing probably two EPs. Wow. In the next, 
nine months, they'll be out music, and uh -huh. I'm writing a book. Wow. Um, of inspirational quotes. That's awesome. Um, a table book called Something Good on the Table. And I know and a lot of people will love that. Yeah, uh -huh. I just want to motivate people. And you know what? It only takes a spark. Mm -hmm. A little quote, something to focus on. That's good, right? When you wake up in the morning, you can go, that's good. And so I'm definitely trying to find avenues of mm -hmm. my talents mm -hmm. that's not just on stage or, exactly. you know, and they're extensions of me anyway. Exactly. So I'm really excited about the future. I have a couple. Um, movie possibilities, wow. um, which I'm excited about. Uh -huh. And recently, I was in the First Wives Club in oh, Chicago. Really? Wow. They did a stage um, mm -hmm. show that was. Uh, I think I saw Broadway. something yeah. on, on social media about that. Yes. So I'm just fortunate to be able to continue wow. to do a lot of the things that I love to do. That's awesome. In all different areas. But, that is, um, that is awesome. You were such a such a talent and such a yeah, humble sure. man, for you know, sure. and such a loving man, you know. So that's a great thing. Um, how do people? find you on the web and your social media well um, my website is teronbrooksmusic.com okay everything's on there Teron Brooks music. Teron Brooks music uh -huh. com, and I'm on Facebook it's really me uh -huh. I, I know I'll you write can you back <laughs> I can attest to that I've been friends with Teron yeah. on Facebook for now probably four years yeah or more. so I think four. that's where you find me you know yes. I'm on Instagram as well yes. Teron Brooks and I'm on Twitter but Facebook me because I'll, I'll Facebook write you back him. and all my content and who I am, who I am is on He's, there. But. And this guy, one of the realest guys, please reach out to him, listen to his music, watch his acting, and watch his new acts coming out too, yeah, and the new and the new albums that you're going to be doing. Yeah, but you, right and now you can get Contagious. That's Contagious, on, amazing. On iTunes now. Amazing, yeah. and I have that. You said that to me. <laughs> yeah, I did. You so, play my music. I yes, I do. Thank you for I do. Supporting me. I do. I do. Uh, I, I do because you're so good. Wow. I don't play any music that I don't love. Wow. And wow. so I really believe in your music. That's wow. why I play it. Appreciate it. Yes, exactly. So what I want to say is. Thank you, Teron, for coming on. Thank you so much. Again, too. it's been a pleasure and a privilege, and I'm so glad I've met you, you in person yeah, yeah, after yeah. interviewing you many times yeah. on the radio. Um, again, uh, Divadox, Teron Brooks, wonderfully talented actor, singer, writer, and go find him on the web. Keep Teron watching Brooks her show. TV. Keep watching the show. Yes, yes, now we have <laughs> yeah. David Ox Web TV Talk Show and yeah. Teron will be on season two. So please watch it. And it's uh, David Ox and Teron Brooks over and out. Bye, Ciao. everybody. Bye.